Today we're going to talk about using who and whom in simple past questions and how to choose which one is correct. The basic rule is that we use who for subject and whom for the object. So we have to figure out if that question word is the subject or the object of the, the question. Now I have to tell you in spoken American English, it is always okay to say who. Uh, the word whom is really uh, falling out of use. It's not very common anymore. And most people just say who. But I know a lot of people want and need to learn the difference between who and whom. So I'm going to explain two ways that you can figure it out. Uh, we're going to look at some example sentences and that's how I'm going to show you these two ways. Now the main question is, is this who or whom, is it the subject or object of the question? And we have two ways to figure that out. The first way we'll show you here. Who did you meet? You need to figure out what the verb is, meet. And then you need to figure out the subject of that verb. In this case, the subject of the verb is you. So we know that who is not the subject, you is the subject. So if who is not the subject, it's the object, right? All right, so that's the first way, is to find the verb and figure out what its subject is. If you can find a different subject, then this WH word is not the subject, okay? Sort of a process of elimination. Now here's the second way I like to do it. And you'll have to figure out which way works better for you personally. The second way is to write the answer to the question. Who did you meet? I met Anna, okay? So the question to who is Anna. Who did you meet? Anna. I met Anna. And then it's a little bit easier to find the subject and verb. We know that who is replacing Anna, okay? So we're going to find the, whether the Anna is subject or object. I met Anna. Verb, subject, object. So because who replaces Anna, and Anna is the object of the sentence, we know that who is the object in the question. Now maybe the first way works better for you, maybe the second way works better for you. That's why I give two options to figure out whether this WH word who is subject or object. Now, because we know that who is the object in this case, we discover we can actually change it to whom. Whom did you meet? I met Anna. Now, honestly, when I'm speaking, I will still say, who did you meet? But if you want to practice the difference between who and whom, you would use whom in this case. All right, let's get to our next example. Who were you angry at? And let's try our first strategy again. We have our verb here, the be verb, were, and we need to find the subject for that verb. What's the subject for that verb? You, subject of the verb. So were you, subject and verb. So, because we have subject and verb, we know that who must be the object again, because we already have a subject for the main verb. Now let's try the second way again. We'll talk about the answer to the question. Who were you angry at? Anna again. <laughs> I was angry at Anna, okay? In this sentence, we have our verb, we have a subject for the verb, and again, we have the object here, and is Anna. 
So because who is replacing Anna, we know that who is the object. Um, so we can change it to whom. This is actually a really common way that some people uh, use whom nowadays. Uh, there's an old grammar rule that we don't like to put a preposition at the end of a sentence. So people will use whom to say, at whom were you angry? Now this sounds very formal, but it is grammatically correct to move that preposition before whom at the beginning of the question. All right, we just have two more examples. Who was at the party? In this case, we're going to try the first step again. We find our verb who, sorry, our verb was, and we need to find the subject for this verb. Who was at the party? I don't see an obvious subject for this verb. So that gives me a clue that probably who is the subject. But let's check by using our second strategy. Who was at the party? Anna was at the party. We've got our verb, yep, and the subject for our verb is Anna which is replaced by who. So this is our subject. And remember when, the, when who is the subject of the question, we have to use who. We cannot use whom. All right, let's look at one more example, our last example. Who broke the dishwasher? We find our verb and we look for the subject of the verb. Who broke the dishwasher? Uh, I think dishwasher is an object, so we don't have a subject, an obvious subject for this verb, which means our subject is who. And we can see the same thing in our second strategy by looking at the answer to the question. Anna broke the dishwasher. Again, we have our verb and we have our subject and object. Who broke the dishwasher? Anna. Anna broke the dishwasher. So we see who is the subject of the question and we need to use who. We cannot use whom. We must use who because it's the subject of the question.